What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And today I'm bringing you part two of our Fresh Out the Vault series. The purpose of this series is to show you when, where, and how you can take advantage of the working exploits within Fallout 76 as a new player that just came out of the vault. In part one of this series, I introduced you to Bob. Bob was about a level five. And with Bob, I showed you how to get unlimited medical items like stim packs, as well as how to get unlimited caps, both at the Agricultural Research Center. After which, I showed you how to get unlimited carry weight and a lot of purified water. If you didn't catch that video, I'll be sure to put a link to it in the description. In today's video, we're going to be picking up where we left off with Bob and seeing what other exploits we could take advantage of early on. If you find this video helpful, please smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that bell, that way you'll be the first to be notified anytime I upload new content. And with that being said, let's get started. Now the first place we're going to go to is the Morgantown Train Yard. Now I will admit this is not really an exploit, but just a really good tip to do early on. What we're going to be doing is finding a power armor frame. I like to do that here at the Morgantown Train Yard because there's two locations where we can find them relatively close to each other. So if we were to head southeast from where we load into the train yard, we are going to find somebody's base. But if we move past that, uh, there's going to be this two-story uh, shed that's full of uh, traps. It's got different uh, pokey things and explodey things. Uh, I like to go through the back just because it's easier to navigate most of the traps. Uh, but they got little spikes on the doors, so watch out for those. And, of course, mines. There's two different mines in here. Now, okay, there's two. All right, see, I just said there was two. Now, the power armor should spawn here, and it's not here. Not a big deal. That's why I like coming here, because we got a second opportunity if we just go back to the uh, train yard. So let's hike back over there. Woo, fast travel. And what we're going to do is run into... There's usually cap stash right there. Uh, run into this box car here. And there is a power armor frame. Now, in this case, somebody already stripped it. Luckily for me, I already have a fusion core of my own, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so we are going to hop into our power armor. This is a great uh, thing to have early on in the game, probably any time during the game, because, well, it's going to increase our carry weight capacity for one, but I already showed you how to get unlimited carry weight. Uh, but it's also going to increase our strength by full 10 points. Uh, right now you can see I'm moving slow because I'm over encumbered. Uh, I was in the negatives on my, uh, my carry capacity, but when I entered the power armor frame, I'm now at 20, so I'm in the positives again. So I need to actually get out of here and go back into my pit boy and find my pocketed armor and just put it on and take it off real quick until I'm in the negatives some more. So negative 50, that ought to be enough. Now I'll hop back into the power armor and I'll probably be at like negative 20 or something along them lines. Let's take a look at what we got. Negative 15. Okay, cool. So it increases the carry weight. So if you're not using that unlimited carry weight uh, exploit, well then, of course, this would be beneficial for carry weight. But let's take a look at strength. Right now I'm at 11 strength inside the frame. If I get out of the frame, I'm going to show you my real strength. I'm a weak little bastard. I only have one strength. I haven't put any points in strength yet. So, plus 10 is a huge deal, especially early on in the game. You can actually be level 1 and equip this frame. You just have to take off all of the actual power armor uh, pieces. But you can see now, with the frame alone, I can go around and one-hit just about everyone in this section of the map. Uh, most of the enemies in this section are level 1 to level 6. And here's a level 6 alpha. You can see, bam, just like that, down. So this is a major advantage to have early on in the game. Once we have our power armor frame, what we need to do is try to level up to level 15. 
Now, leveling up to 15 is not all that difficult. It doesn't require farming. In fact, farming's probably overrated to get to level 15. But if you insist on farming, my recommendation is to look out for this event called Leader of the Pack, which is northwest of Vault 76. This doesn't necessarily give you a lot of XP. That's not why I recommend it. But what it does do is guarantee three low-level legendary drops. Again, this isn't really an exploit unless you start um, server hopping to find this event. Let's see if I got a grenade to kill these guys off. What happens is you need to search for three pack leaders, and they're usually relatively close to each other, so you don't have to travel very far. Uh, each pack leader, it's not listed as a legendary, but they do have a little star next to them, and each one of them is going to drop a legendary weapon each and every time. On top of that, you're getting the XP from completing the event, and of course, killing the wolves. Die. All right. So let's see what we got here. All right, we got a 10 millimeter submachine gun. I've seen been getting quite a bit of these submachine guns on this character, um, but that's 10% uh, damage if you're mutated. All right, I mean, that's not the, the best, but it, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Plus there's two other wolves, so let's go get them. So you can see they're not too far away, but I'm not gonna run there. Let's go ahead and just phase in. There we go. Killed pack leader number two, and he's going to give us a suppressor's pickaxe, which reduces the enemy's damage for a few seconds after you whack him with it. All right, and moving on to the third one. It got dark all of a sudden. Where's my pit boy light? I can't see. There we go. All right, die, dude. All right, where's the pack leader? Not you. Not you, but you got bullets for some reason. Here we go. And a bloody lead pipe. All right, and it's not gonna show me what the pipe does because I just completed the quest, so we gotta wait for all of that. But I'm curious. I think bloodied gives you more damage when you're low health, basically. Oh, look at that, a chameleon leather chest piece. I think they just gave me that for completing the event. So for this run, I actually ended up with four legendary items. That's not a bad run at all. Now from there, you just server hop and just keep doing it until uh, you got a bunch of legendary weapons and XP. Afterwards, we're going to move on to our final exploit for this video. And again, uh, this, this is something you're going to want to grind to level 15. I think I mentioned that already. What we're going to do for this is go to the town of Clarksburg. Uh, Clarksburg is just north of Volt 76. I like to put my camp to the south of the, uh, the town so that I spawn really close to this three-story red brick building because that's where we're going to go. We need to go on the third floor of this brick building. What we're doing here is we are going to be grinding some level 15 power armor to put on our frame. Level 15 is the lowest level power armor that's in the game, at least at the moment. And it doesn't spawn in very many places that I've found, but this place has been probably my favorite farm spot for it. Uh, there's also alphas and legendaries around here, so it works out pretty good if you need some extra stuff. Uh, in this case, I only got a right leg. What appears on here is variable. Uh, also, it seemed like in the beta, this was always guaranteed to be level 15 Raider Power Armor, although since the actual release, it's been level 25 occasionally. And since we're here, there's also a cap stash hiding out here on this vent. Uh, you have to do a little hop to grab it. Um, I still don't have any cap collector cards, so I'm not getting a lot out of it, but why not grab it? Uh, after that, you just server hop and you rinse and repeat until you have the full set of Power Armor. Uh, power armor, like I said, doesn't always spawn here, but you also get quite a bit of legendaries from time to time. So, even if you don't get a power armor piece, it still ends up paying off somehow. Unless you fall down. Let's warp back up there and kill that guy. There we go. It's another 10mm submachine gun. 
Ooh, but this time it's vampire. Now that's on point. I actually get health for killing people. Actually just hitting them. I didn't get any uh, power armor on that run, but it was well worth it. But we just keep doing it over and over again until eventually we got the full set. And because we're grinding this, it gives us the opportunity to start building a good collection of power cores, which we're going to need. And by power cores, I actually mean fusion cores, of course. Uh, you're going to need those fusion cores to get around the wastelands. One more tip before I let you go on part two of our Fresh Out the Vault series. If you are running low on fusion cores and you're about to kill the battery on your current one, while equipping your power armor, you can just do a server hop. When you log out and log back in inside your power armor, uh, your fusion core gets reset to 100%. So that's a, a pretty handy tool if you're about to completely kill your power armor and you still need to get back to like your base or your camp or something along them lines. Just do a server hop and you'll have full power and that'll give you the opportunity to go around and get some more fusion cores. All right, everybody, I hope you found part two of this series helpful. If so, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all of your support. Thanks to you guys, we've managed to pass over a thousand subscribers. That's a huge deal. Thank you for supporting the channel. You guys have been great. I appreciate you all watching, and we'll see you all next time.